What's going on you guys? It is Wanny back on your screen bringing you a brand new video in Southwest Florida. If you're new here, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below to join the Wanny family today. And today we are going to be headed to work as a bus driver. My boss was calling me early this morning guys, so we need to get on the road right away. Before we get going here, I am going to grab some breakfast and my lunch to go you guys because I am not sure how long my work day will be, but hopefully Hopefully it is not too crazy guys as you can see it is absolutely beautiful weather here in southwest florida i could definitely get used to living here you guys but we needed a break from greenville wisconsin so we are here in southwest florida and we are going to have a great time you know they have been having so many shortages of bus drivers so they called me all the way down here and they need my help you guys so we're going to find out what we need to accomplish today in just a few minutes when we check in with our boss you guys but I definitely can get used to living here in Southwest Florida. What do you guys think? Should we move here full time? Should we just come here part time and visit? It is just a great place to be, you guys. So we're going to be arriving at work in just a few minutes. And we are going to be having so much fun, you guys. I absolutely love being a bus driver. It is one of the most rewarding jobs, getting to drive around town, enjoy the beautiful views, and meet some awesome students, you guys. So it is a great job, and we are definitely going be having a lot of fun today i believe the school bus depot is right up the road here where we'll be checking in with our boss and then we are going to be headed to the bus yard where we need to pick up our gigantic school bus seriously cannot believe you guys all right here we are we're gonna be arriving at the bus depot in just a second it's right over here and i already can see my boss is waiting there for me so we got to do a little u-turn here and we are going to check in with our boss and see what we need to accomplish today hey there boss how you doing today it is great to see ya hey mr wanny welcome back to the transportation department get your bus ready and tell me when your pre-trip is complete all right boss i'm gonna go ahead to the bus yard right now and i'm gonna go get the bus warmed up and ready for students we'll see you later all right guys we are going to be headed to the bus yard in just a minute we will be arriving oh my goodness you guys i am seriously so excited for this great great opportunity to enjoy working with the students and also help out south of Soto since they do not have many bus drivers left you guys so the bus yard is just about five minutes away, you guys. We're just going to continue on this main highway until we do arrive there, you guys. But I am absolutely so thrilled with the great weather we've been having here in southwest Florida. We got really lucky because they have been having a lot of crazy weather in Greenville, Wisconsin, like flooding, crazy windstorms. It is just absolutely insane. If you guys have not seen my crazy, crazy flood video, go check it out. I will pin it in the description down below. All right, guys, we're going to be arriving at the bus depot in just a second, and we will see you guys when we get there. All right, you guys, we are finally in our school bus, and we are going to be taking students on an amazing field trip to a humongous lake here in town, you guys. I am super excited. It is going to be a great adventure, and it's definitely going to be something very cool. we got to make sure that there are no trains before crossing the railroad tracks. We're all good. Uh, this is bus 1014 to bus 9. Uh, the railroad tracks are all clear. 104. All right, guys, we are roaring down the road right now. As you guys can see, we literally have to get stuck at the red light, and bus 9 is literally flooring it down the road. Uh, this is bus 1014 to bus 9. I am stuck at the red light here at uh, Carlton Avenue. Uh, please make sure that all students are ready to board the bus. Thank you. All right, guys, as you guys can see, we have another bus that is going to be going on this field trip with us today, and it is definitely going to be such a fun adventure, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Every student literally filled out their permission slips, so that tells me that this is going to be a great time, you guys. Of course, we are literally stuck at this red light. Absolutely unbelievable, you guys. I just cannot believe it. All right, here we go. Finally, we are moving, and we are going to be arriving at students' homes in just a few minutes, you guys. And then we'll be arriving to the lake in about 20 more minutes of driving, you guys. So we are rolling down the road right now, you guys. Uh, the students' neighborhood is right up here. We'll be picking up all of the students that are going to be boarding our bus. And then we are going to be headed to the field trip destination. So we're going to be turning in the neighborhood right up here. And we're going to start picking up our students. 
All right, you guys, I think I already saw some of the students outside. Looks like there are a ton of students here ready to go. So we're going to pull up the bus right now. We're going to turn on our emergency lights and let them in. Hi, everybody. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Great to see you guys. Great to see everybody. Have a seat. Play. Please make sure that you guys are seated. Okay, everybody, please make sure you are seated. All right, everybody, here we go. Keep it moving. All right, this is bus 1014. Uh, we're all clear. All right, guys, we are going to be going through the rest of the neighborhood and picking up the rest of the students that live here. And, uh, guys, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, my gosh, it's like driving through a maze in this neighborhood, you guys. All right, we got some more students we need to pick up over here. Guys, please be patient. Please be patient. We got a lot of students that we need to pick up today. Okay, everybody? All right, as you guys can see, the bus is getting more full by the minute, you guys. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Looks like our other friend over here is helping us pick up the other students. So we are going to be headed to our field trip right now, you guys. All right, here we go. We're going to be leaving this neighborhood. It is very difficult to maneuver these gigantic buses on these tiny streets here in the neighborhood. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, my goodness, you guys. And the students are not going to be going to school today. They are going to be going on a great field trip. This is usually where the students go to school, but they are not going there today since we have this awesome day planned for them. All right, we're getting on the main road right now, you guys. Uh, our other bus driver ahead of us knows where he is going. He is actually a full-time bus driver here. And again, I'm just filling in for the bus driver due to an emergency. They have been dealing with staff shortages and not having enough bus drivers. So that is why we are filling in today. All right, everybody. We are entering the highway. Please make sure that you guys stay seated. I cannot have any distractions here on the highway because it gets very, very busy, guys. So we are roaring down the freeway right now, guys. Look at these views. Absolutely insane. We got views of the entire city and also the ocean, you guys. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at these views. They are so cool. Excuse me. No shouting. The student's literally shouting, I'm hungry in my face. Are you kidding me right now? Unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. Please, no shouting on the bus. Thank you very much. As you guys can see, there are literally so many potholes in the street. The bus is, the bus is literally bouncing up and down. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness, you guys. This is actually crazy. We are literally bouncing up and down here, and we are trying our best to make sure students do not get sick from this bus ride. But, you know, these highways are literally over 100 years old, so they definitely need some repair. All right, everybody. We are going to be taking the next exit, and we are going to be headed off the highway to finally arrive at this amazing field trip, you guys. Oh, my goodness. It feels like I've been driving for days and days, especially with all these students in the bus. Excuse me, guys. Please stay calm back there. Please stay calm, okay? Oh, my gosh, guys. Some of these students get very crazy on the school bus, and it could actually be very stressful trying to drive a bus, make sure everybody's behaved, and, you know, have a great time all at once. It's very stressful and a not-so-easy thing to do, you guys. So, we're trying to keep up with the other bus driver over here, but he literally is stepping on the gas. Ah, uh, this is bus 1014. Please slow it down before we get lost. Thank you. All right, guys, we just sent over the radio a message to the other bus driver to take it a little bit slower because this is absolutely insane. They are going so fast, we can hardly keep up. All right, here we are. We are finally taking exit two, and we are going to be arriving at the destination in just a minute, you guys. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at this ramp. It's literally like a roller coaster. Are you kidding me right now? All right, you guys. We are going to be going on this roundabout right over here. It is a very, very tight squeeze here leaving this roundabout with this gigantic school bus so we got to take very very wide turns you guys it is just not so easy to maneuver this gigantic bus you guys oh my goodness i think we're like stuck on a curb or something what in the world guys we literally like went off road over here okay we're stuck we're okay we're okay everybody do not worry all right here we go here we go we are finally arriving at the destination right now we are here at the park where we're going to be checking out this amazing, amazing lake. Seriously, could not believe it. Oh my gosh. Someone is literally screaming on the bus. We're pulling over. Uh, this is bus 1014. I am pulling over. I have a student that is screaming on my bus. Just a moment, please. Excuse me. Is there any reason you are screaming on my bus? Okay, we literally pulled over because of your screaming. Okay, this is your fault. Now, you need to calm it down a little bit. 
or we will call your mother and we will let them know what you're doing on the field trip. You hear me? Oh my goodness. I am speaking to you. That is who I am speaking to. You know, lose the attitude, okay? Lose the attitude or I will turn around this bus and we literally will go back to school. You hear me? Oh my gosh. Uh, this is bus 1014. Bus 1014 here. We have a student with behavior issues on my bus. Uh, we might need a supervisor over here. Oh my goodness. Thank you for calming down. We appreciate the lot, okay? No dancing on the bus. Have a seat. Thank you very much. I said to sit down. Thank you. All right, guys. We are finally leaving right now. Uh, this is bus 1014. I have another student here causing problems. Excuse me. He's literally pushing buttons on my bus. Oh, my gosh, you guys. He's literally opening and closing the door on the bus. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? I seriously cannot believe your behavior. This is not good at all. You know what? This is not good at all. When we get back to school, you are going back to the principal's office. You hear me? To the principal's office is where you're going, okay? All right. This is bus 1014. We are departing right now. Thank you. All right, guys. We are starting the bus back up after this crazy student incident. I cannot believe it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. He is literally scrimming still back there, but we are going to be uh, getting back on the road right now. The other students are getting a little bit upset about this because they have been waiting for this field trip forever, you guys. And we are going to have a great time. Uh-oh. Now my boss is having some issues up here. I don't know what this kid did. He must have pushed all the buttons or something. Uh, this is bus 1014. I'm trying to restart my engine over here. We're having some bus malfunction. All right. Here we go. Please be seated. Thank you. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh, my gosh, guys. Something is wrong with this bus. Are you kidding me right now? All right, here we go. He literally put in the parking brake or something because this thing was not working at all. Seriously unbelievable. So here we are. We are finally here at the park right now. We are going to be having so much fun, except those students that have been causing problems this whole entire journey. They are going to be in a lot of trouble when we get back to school. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. They're going to be in a lot of trouble. They have been causing so many problems on this field trip and making it horrible. For all the students here on the trip. So we're going to find a great parking spot over here. And we are going to release the students to check out the park. Alright everybody. Let's go one at a time off the bus. One at a time. Okay everybody. Excuse me. This student on my bus has been causing so many problems. Seriously. You need to calm down. Calm down. You'll be okay. Trust me. All right. All right. Let's keep going, everybody. Uh, this kid is literally trying to pull the emergency exit. Are you serious? Uh, I think you need to call in for the principal to come out here because these students are causing havoc over here, okay? All right, everybody. Let's go. We are going to go check out the lake right now, and we are going to go check out the views. Guys, this is super, super fun and super exciting. So, everybody, right this way. We are going to check out the amazing, amazing natural resources here of the community. We got this amazing, amazing lake that provides a great area for entertainment, swimming, and fresh water, everybody. As you guys can see, oh my gosh, one of the students are literally jumping in. Oh my gosh. Guys, get out of the water. This is not a time for swimming. Are you kidding me right now? This is not a pool party. We are just looking. Oh my gosh, you guys. Everybody's literally jumping in the water this is unbelievable. You guys, this is not good at all. You know what? We're going back on the bus right now. We are going to back to school. This is not acceptable behavior, okay? Everybody back on the bus immediately. Let's go. We are going back to the school, you guys. These students have been so horrible on this field trip that we are literally canceling it, and we are going back to school right now. This is just a disaster. I seriously cannot believe this is happening, you guys. We are going to get on the bus. No, no, no. It is okay. I got it. Thank you very much. Everybody back on the bus right now. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. All right. Here we go. We are going to get on the bus right now. And we are going to get on the road. Everybody stay calm. Please be patient. All right, guys. We are starting up the bus right now. And we are going to be getting on the road in just a moment, you guys. I seriously cannot believe the day we have been having so far with these students. Please make sure you're calm, everybody. Please make sure you're calm and collective, okay? 
All right, guys, what a day it has been. I seriously cannot believe how crazy these students have been on this field trip. Absolutely insane. So we are starting the bus right now. We are going to be departing, and we are going to be headed back to Southwest Florida. And these students are going to be in major, major trouble. Let me tell you, they have caused so many problems throughout this field trip that it is definitely not going to be fun for them when they are back at school. They're going to be calling home. They're going to be in the principal's office, and they're going to be in major trouble. A lot of the students have been waiting for this day for so long, and the field trip was ruined, you guys. Absolutely ruined. So we're going to on the road right now. We are going to be headed back to South of Florida, and we are going to let them know that we are going to have to talk with parents and the principal about their behavior. So let's go right now, everybody. We're going to be following the other bus driver back on the main highway right now, and we are going to be back at our school in just a few more hours, you guys. Absolutely unbelievable. Here we go. This bus driver's, you know, their first year on the job, so they're not too familiar with how to drive a bus, so you do got to be patient with them. Because it is very difficult to maneuver this gigantic bus in these tiny little streets, you guys. Very, very difficult. So we're getting back on the highway right now. We got this thing full throttle because we want to get back to the school. And we want to make sure that these students get to speak with the principal. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. Our bus is starting to overheat, guys. This is not good. Uh, this is bus 1014. This is bus 1014. We're pulling over here on the highway. We got an emergency here. Everybody, stay calm. Stay calm. Uh, we need to open the emergency exits. We need to exit the bus, everybody. Let's go. Keep it moving. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my goodness, you guys. We need to get off of this bus right now. Everybody, let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up, you guys. This is not good at all. All right, guys. We are literally going to get off the bus. Uh, this is bus 1014. We need all units here. My bus is broken down on the middle of the highway. Our engine is overheating. Thank you very much. We need all units. As you guys can see, the emergency exits are open on the bus right now. We are going to get off of here right now, and we are going to try and escape. Guys, the bus door is literally stuck. Help me. Help me. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This has been unbelievable. The bus is literally broken down here, and it is literally smoking, you guys. Unbelievable. As you guys can see, the engine is literally shaking from this crazy, crazy engine overheating. Guys, stay back. Stay back. The engine is not doing good at all. So what a crazy, crazy adventure this has been. I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like. Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to join the Wanny family today. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.